So we've got these four extra large sandwiches and they're all the same size. And they've been ordered for M students. And in this video, I want to I want to use value substitution to to uh, just give one option for solving this question. So let's rather than working with M as a variable, let's just say M equals I mean, it could be anything. Let's say M equals eight. So now we've got four sandwiches to divide up among these eight people. Of course, we're doing so in a very specific way. We're told three of the sandwiches were evenly divided among the students. So we've got three sandwiches, which we're dealing with one way. And we're told that they're evenly divided among these guys. So we can just, so we can just take each of these three and divide it eight ways, right? We can take this guy, divide it into eight. And then everybody gets uh, one, one, one piece of that sandwich. Same thing for this guy, and same thing for this guy. And now we know that those three sandwiches are being divided evenly among those eight. Since four students did not want any of the fourth, so four students don't want any of this one, it was evenly divided among the remaining students. So four don't want it, that leaves four, so this guy, we're just dividing into four for those remaining students. If Carol ate one piece from each of the four. So Carol gets one piece of every sandwich. So Carol gets this piece, and this piece, and this piece, and this bigger piece. That means that all together, Carol gets, let's see, an eighth from that, and another eighth, and another eighth, and a quarter from this one. Let's see, what, what is that all together? Eighth plus eighth plus eighth is three eighths, plus, if I get the same denominator here, a quarter with an eighth on the bottom is two eighths, and that leads us to five eighths. And that's where we're asked, right? We're asked the amount of sandwich that she ate would be what fraction? of a whole extra large sandwich. And we say, well, if there's eight people, Carol ends up with five eighths altogether of a sandwich. So we still don't exactly know what to click, but we do know, if we think about what we've done here, we've said if M were exactly eight, then the answer to the question would be exactly five eighths. So when M equals eight, the answer to our question, the answer to our question is five eighths. So how do we figure out what to click with this info? Well, with, with, with value substitution and uh, when the answer choices are all variables, what, what we have to do is we know that when m equals 8, the answer is 5 eighths. So we just need to figure out which answer choice does that same thing. So plugging in 8 for m in the answer choices, answer choice A becomes 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 divided by 8 times 8 minus 4. And I want to look for shortcuts, right? I don't, I don't want to waste too much time doing arithmetic here. So we, we need to stop as soon as we can determine that this does not, this does not become 5 eighths or a fraction that reduces to 5 eighths. So let's, let's think about it. The top here becomes 12. The bottom becomes, let's see, the bottom becomes 8 times 4, or 32. And, well, actually, is this ever going to reduce to 5 eighths? We can just look at the numerator, right? Is 12 ever going to reduce down to 5? No, if we're going to get a fraction that reduces to 5 eighths, the top needs to be a multiple of 5, and the bottom needs to be a multiple of 8, and that's not the case on the top here, so we know that A is not the answer. So let's take a look at B, and, and that's kind of a nice shortcut, that we need a multiple of 5 on top and a multiple of 8 on the bottom. So let's see if we can, we can find other opportunities for that. In B, we've got 2 times m, or 2 times 8, minus 4 over, actually, well, let's just say something for now. And what happens to the top? 2 times 8 is 16, minus 4 is 12 again, and that is not a multiple of 5, so B is not our answer. Answer choice C. We've got 4 times 8 minus 4 on top, 
and something on the bottom. And here this becomes, what, 4 times 8 is 32, minus 4 is 28 over something. Not a multiple of 5, not our answer. Answer choice D. D, we've got 4 times 8 minus 8 over something. And this is... 32 minus 8 or 24 over something, not a multiple of 5, not our answer. So I guess we know that E is the right answer. If we're all right for time, we can confirm. Let's see. E, we've got 4 times 8 minus 12 over 8 times 8 minus 4. And what does this lead to? 4 times 8 is 32. Minus 12 is 20. And 8 times, well, 8 minus 4 is 4, times 8 is, this is 32. And let's see, we divide top and bottom by 4, leads to 20 divided by 4 is 5. 32 divided by 4 is 8, and sure enough, that does match. So E is our answer.